Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm doing something a little bit different. I thought I would share with you my workspace and take you through my studio slash bedroom. Um, I live in a pretty small apartment with only two rooms. So my space is kind of limited and I have to make the most of it. As you will see, my workspace contains a desk, a mood board and that's pretty much it. So I will share with you how I organize my drawers and what I like to be surrounded by when I paint. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of video and let me know what you think in the comment section. So as you will see, I have an IKEA desk with two Alex drawers. In one I keep my art supplies and in the other one just random stuff like documents and makeup. Anyways, I will be showing you my art supply Alex drawer. So here's my first drawer. Usually I keep here uh, my most important things like my sketchbook and my um, notebook in which I write ideas and my 642 things to draw. I also have my palette for gouache and my Kuratake palette, which you might have seen in my last video. And my favorite gouache paints. I basically keep in this drawer anything I'm using at the moment. Um, and I have here some metallic gouache paints, which I will be reviewing soon. So stay tuned for that. They're really nice. I've tried them out a couple of times. And that's pretty much it for the first drawer. So my second drawer um, contains kind of all sorts of mixed media. Um, as you will see, I have some embellishments, glitter, some pins I use, and the needles for making actual pins. Um, I also have uh, some acrylic paints, some gesso, some lino cut uh, inks, which are not really that good. I need to buy some others. I have my headphones and other embellishments such as um, tiny beads and stuff like that. Uh, and some glues. So this next drawer contains uh, my watercolors in uh, tubes. I have a box filled with metallic foils and some lace, my Kohinoor inks and back there I have some palettes, some pastels, my Winsor & Newton palette which you've probably seen before and right in the back I have some um, markers, a palette and some colored pencils and also some uh, glass for mixing up colors. Alright, so moving on to the next drawer, here I keep uh, tools I use, my notebooks which I will be taking to a design fair, some tape, uh, some um, labels, my business cards which I recently made and I really love. Um, they have a QR scan code, so that's pretty cool. My old sketchbook which you've probably seen in my videos and I have this pouch from Sugarboo where I keep my lino cut tools um, like the roller and the blades and stuff like that and underneath I have uh, some papers like A4 papers and that's pretty much it for this drawer And the last drawer contains all of my filming stuff, uh, which is not very interesting, and lots of cables and stuff like that, which you need to have if you're doing YouTube. So that's pretty much all I have for now. I'm hoping to extend my art supplies and hopefully get a bigger studio in the future. Um, I have a mood board in which I like to pin uh, drawings I've made and I like or stuff that inspires me or stuff I'm working on it's really helpful because it's on the wall and it doesn't take up much space 
and I keep my brushes on my uh, desk because it's just easier to store them and I have them on hand whenever I need them. So that's my studio and I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully my next studio tour will be uh, much cooler and bigger. <laughs> I really want a studio with lots of plants in it so um, hopefully that will be in my future plans. Until then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!